Hi, let me give you a crash course on how to order a photo book. First things first, you can see here you need to sign in before you can create the book. There's no create now button. The only way you'll get to see that button is by signing in. Go to the top here and sign in. If you haven't uh, registered, you'll first have to sign up. Click login over here. Confirm that you're a human. Scroll back to photo books on the menu on the left. Click on the photo book product. Choose your size. There's three different sizes. I'll use the A4 for this example. Click create now. First things first, you're going to add pictures to your project. This is the photo book cover here. He has the different pages. This is the cover the, in the back of the cover. Click add pictures. Upload. Let's just Put a few pictures in here. Um, this is the easy editor. You can swap to the advanced editor. The easy editor is awesome. I'll show you now. So what you can do here is you can drag and drop photographs. You can see to the cover, you can't move it around because it's the easy editor. Uh, you can click on it to crop it. If you want to, you know, crop the photograph, get it right. Um, the best, the awesome thing about this is you can click the autofill button. And it will literally populate, look at the bottom here, it will populate all the pages. You can see I don't have all the pages populated, so I need more photographs. Easy, go here, upload more photographs. I'll just highlight a few more, and you'll see what will happen now. Click autofill again, and it's added the more photographs. I gave it too many photographs, so it's put some awesome layouts here. It's put more than one photograph on each page, which is very nice. If you want that on other pages, it's easy to do. Just click here on the left, layouts, and you can scroll through them all, or you can say, now I want a four picture layout. We'll give you the different four picture options. Drag and drop it on this side. Um, go back to your photos, and you can just literally fill up the other placeholders with photos, like so. And the other option here is to click shuffle on the right hand side, shuffle the left hand side, and just keep clicking, and it will move those photographs around and give you different options. Once you're happy, Let's say we finished with our photo book. Not finished, we finished with the easy one, but now we want to have a full photo on the cover. Go to the advanced editor. And now this will give you the ability to move, to drag and drop your photos. Just go over this bleed lines so that the photo actually prints around the cover. So it looks nice and smart. Let's just put another photograph this side for the sake of this demo. And let's just get this one across. And then let's make it meet in the spine with the other one, like so. And you can also now move your text around. You can left click on the text and you can go my, my book, um, like so. And position it wherever you want, change the size and stuff. You can also do something else. You can add text to the spine. I'll show you now. Simply click add the text box. Left click on there, add some writing to it now, test, change the alignment, text direction to vertical like that, and then you can move your spine text onto the spine, um, like so, and then you can, here we go, in the middle of the spine, you can zoom in here on the right if you want to see it better, I'm just going to rush through this to get you a little tutorial, you can add pages at extra cost here. You can shuffle your, you can move your spreads around like so. So if you want that one to be there. Um, let's now say you're happy with your photo book, but you don't want to order it now. You're going to come back and double check it tomorrow or finish, add more photographs, add more text. You can save your product, your, your photo book and come back. Click the save button. Let's just call it test. Save it. Now you can close the website, come back tomorrow. Go back to the website tomorrow, just simply click on your name at the top and then scroll down and you'll see manage your personalized product, click that and there you'll see my test that I just did and you can continue editing it. It'll take you right to where you left off and now you're happy with it, you can do your final adjustments but you're happy now, you click order. It's as simple as that, there's some warnings you can go through, it's saying that low quality cover picture, blah blah blah. If you're happy with everything, click confirm and leave this box checked if you want us to enhance your images to the best of our ability 
and simply order your book just like that. If you've got any questions, get in touch and we'll help you design your dream.